Stand in Chief Vibration Reading for the Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising. It is the last week from December. And the week begin from the 25th until the 31st. It is the week of, yeah, for you the Capricorns. Yes, for you Capricorns. You are in the week of the Hermit. This is good. This is wonderful. This is positive because you have the energy vibration of the Eight of Pentacles. You'll be working very hard to bring success in your world. So let's look and see what's happening because you guys have all the elements in the week. So let's look and see what's happening for you, Capricorns. Oh, this is good. Oh my God. All right, I don't know what's happening with you, Capricorns. You earth sign people. Okay, I'm ending my stories. Wow. Okay, Capricorns. This last week of December, you have worked hard, and you're going to be a success. It's not a question. It's not asking for the people who have been working very hard. You are going to be such a success in this week, okay? You're ending the year on a successful note. A lot of people who have been looking for work, you're going to receive a lot of information. A lot of people will be connecting you, with you for work, okay? So this is going to be good, okay? I have no idea what is going on with you Capricorns, but obviously, something is going on okay so let's look at your reading because it's beautiful it's beautiful let's first see what is your energy vibration because um the king of pentacles you're going to look for your inner true light so if you're uh, you capricorn men especially on sunday you're going to be connecting with yourself to find your inner true light whatever is happening you're going to be connecting with yourself to find the inner true light okay so this is going to be good so let's look on Monday Ooh, yes okay this is so I, I, you art people have been giving me some readings okay you Capricorns on a Christmas day the ten of Pentacles with the Sun by the lottery because I did tell you guys on the 23rd you should go and buy the lottery um, whatever you do buy some numbers because it's gonna happen for you well the ten of Pentacles with a Sun this is success this is promotion um, this is bonus coming in for a lot of you Capricorns on Christmas Day this is wonderful look at this I don't even want to put this down because this is just grand for you Capricorns you heard sign or finishing off this month this year in a wonderful wonderful note on Tuesday we have the energy of the king of wands and for the people who are coupled with an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius you are going to decide to move away from this person or this person is going to decide to move away from you but I'm thinking that you are going to make this decision on um, the day after Christmas to end this relationship with this king of wands whoever he is and it will be best for you okay so after Christmas um, you're going to um, decide to either divorce this king of wands who is an Aries a Leo or, or an um, Sagittarius and you're going to keep away from this person which is going to be good because if you decide to do that your week is the week of pleasure the six of cups is going to be happiness it's going to be connecting with family it has the energy of the star your wishes and dreams are going to come true because someone is going to be connecting with you and this is someone who's of a past relationship or um, someone from karmatic life before and this is good because um, you're feeling connected and it's as if the universal angels have brought you two together and you are feeling um, a wonderful sense of um, a wonderful sense of um, connection and this is extremely good so in this week this last week it is 
the six of uh, um, the six of cups and the six of cups is always someone that you have known from the past or people from your past is coming back to connect with you in this Christmas week which is Christmas so this will happen so um, you're seeing this happen on Thursday you have the energy of the four of Pentacles this is a wonderful good energy with the energy of the four of Pentacles whatever that was happening your financial situation is balanced you're all in on on whatever you have this six of swords energy is in reverse because whoever that was sending negative uh, negativity to you and trying to block your financial situation it's not working anymore because the universal angels and guide have come in whenever you see the situation is happening you call upon Archangel Raphael for divine intervention to heal your financial abundance and around you and this is what has transpired when you call up for that because you begin the week with the eight the ten of Pentacles and the Sun coming out so this is going to be good as we move forward we have on Friday the energy of the ten of ones in the reverse so you have the number 10 twice coming up the number 10 energy of the number 10 twice is coming up and you have the energy of the moon so whatever the situation is whatever burdens you were carrying your guides and angels are coming to help you to release this burden so whatever is happening call upon your guides and angels to come in and help you to release whatever burden that you were carrying because this burden is now um, being released on Saturday another wonderful day please go out and get a lottery for the new year buy the lottery buy the lottery because this is good what you're having is the wheel of fortune and this wheel of fortune is helping you to bring balance and bring success in your life so you have the Sun beside the wheel of fortune and the star ladies and gentlemen please do something because it's you if you miss this energy vibration I can't help you anymore okay if you win the you lose this energy vibration I can't help you anymore because you have the energy of the star as your center you're crowning from the week and now you have the energy of the wheel of fortune right beside the Sun so whatever is happening for you earth sign people ending this year it's gonna be very positive because this is just gonna be grand on Sunday the men are going to find time to go within you men need to find time to go to within because whatever is happening you men really 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 need to find the time to go within because there is obviously something that is happening that you need to go within and look at a situation for yourself and you need to see what is happening I'm gonna ask some questions because I want to know um, the power with, with the six of sword what is that saying for you guys the power with the six of sword Oh, there's going to be luck coming in because whosoever that was blocking you wow a lot of people are going to be engaged on this day a lot of people are going to be engaged on this day Wow okay hold on you have you ladies a lot of people are going to, your ends people will be asking you your hands in marriage on this day Oh my god isn't this wonderful yes it is if this doesn't happen for you it's going to be a lucky surprise coming out um, for you ladies this could be a job situation that you receive good news about the job because it's happiness happiness um, beautiful gifts joy and invitation so this is an invitation to that will be coming out and if it has to do with career things are working out in your favor in your career so this is going to be very good in love something really great will occur so this is good so this is a very good sign so um, for some people it's going to um, you're going to be in a happy marriage some people are going to get good um, 
business contract some people are going to be proposed to or you're going to have a proposal in business contract so you know whatever that was happening for you because you have the four of Pentacles and um, the six of swords in reverse so um, this is going to be wonderful because a lot of um, this is a good news uh, this is all about marriage people proposing to people good contracts coming in for a lot of you ladies and you are going to be asked to answer in marriage and I would say yes if I were you just my opinion just my opinion ladies but this is going to be good so as I've said to a lot of people if you're looking for work this is going to be happening for you and you can see this really happening engagement proposal happy agreement so there's a lot of business um, careers um, look for a contract to be completed or to be or work is going to start coming up again for you so this is going to be good so and um, a lot of people are going to be asked to answer in marriage um, marriage can be expected um, and this can be in business and work so that is good so I was going to look and see um, what is happening and that's going to happen on Thursday so whatever is happening is going to be happening on Thursday let's see what is happening on Friday okay what is happening on Friday is saying only one okay so the ten of ones that was happening on Friday with the moon is as if your your intuition is getting higher and as if a friend a good friend is going to come in and to say something to you which is going to help you to understand where you are and what is happening okay so here I am looking at the situation with the men these cards came out together because whatever is happening for you men um, there is a situation that has taken place and you're looking at what has transpired so um, there is a protection um, whoever you are you know you are protected whatever is happening whatever has transpired in your life you are um, very much so protected so not to worry about what is happening okay because this is going to be good it's a week of a lot of surprises a lot of good things um, the wheel of fortune is also here the star the wheel of fortune and the Sun you Capricorns this is your week you rock um, you are really 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 rocking this week and this is going to be extremely positive so let's see what is happening a change in the wind and this is a change for the better a change in the wind and it is a change for the better and you also have milk and honey a change in the wind and this is good so whatever your situation was whatever that was tumbling your growth the change in the wind and it's bringing you milk and honey so this is wonderful okay a change in the wind and this is bringing you milk and honey so this is going to be wonderful for you Capricorns congratulations let's look further and see whatever is happening let's see and try and figure out what are the messages um, some people are suffering in silence some people are suffering in silence and these are the people who are not connected with their partners and it's Capricorns are people who always you know um, suffer in silence because um, you know sometimes they say things and sometimes they just hold things to themselves and especially when you're going through a time that you are really going through horrific things in your life you prefer to stay on your own and try and figure it out and find the inner truth and this is when you are you know just being by yourself and going through the motions and this is the time when you're suffering silence but the, the changes in the wind and whatever you need and whatever that um, you need is going to come to you so um, not to worry about this okay divine sight see the divine in each and every person 
Okay, I, I got summer with that because I do this work and it really teaches you to really see the divine in people. I, honestly, honestly, because wow. It is hard. I'm telling you that it is hard. It was not one of the most easiest thing to do. But I guess how I did it was close my eyes and ask, you know, please forgive me or forgive this person for what they've done to me. And try to look past but it's hard it's very hard so how I deal with it I just keep away from people I just close myself off from people I just this I love doing for you guys but I don't want anyone to come in my circle I'm like well now because the, you know there's this beautiful song this is beautiful song that I have found there's this beautiful song and I want you ladies out there you ladies and men out there this is a beautiful song this is like one of the most beautiful thing that I've found this year I'm gonna have um, a special and I want you guys to check out my website because on my website what there is is that you can all the things via amazon.com via my website okay I forget to always say that but anyway my favorite song for this year one of my favorite song that is is um, good at goodbyes and it says you must think that I'm stupid you must think that I'm a fool you must think that I'm new to this, but I've seen this before. I'm never letting you close to me, even though you mean the most to me, because every time I open up, it hurts. So I'm never going to let you too close to me. Even when I mean the most to you, in case you go and leave me in the dirt but every time you hurt me the less that I cry and every time you leave me the quicker these tears dry and every time you walk out the less I love you baby we don't stand a chance it's sad but it's true ladies and gentlemen I want to tell you something about the song this song is as if this this guy this British guy oh my god I will play this song hours and hours and sing it because I have gotten so much things I will just help people and they will just turn around on me and I'm and, and of course I know that you know it's just the karmatic situation and this song I will play the song and and, and when I say help people, it's like my friends, people who I'm associated with or my association. And, you know, there is this one part of the song that says, I know you think I'm artless. I know you think I'm cold. I, I am just protect, protecting my innocent. I am just protecting my soul. I'm never going to let you close to me even though you mean the most to me and honestly people I've seen I you know this year was a year that this song was just perfect 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 for this year because I've gone through so much things in this year and I've learned to see the design the divine side in people I swear I you know I is really But I'm here and I'm stronger through all the lessons, all the eight, even people I really don't know, they were hating at me, 
I can wear my iron shoes. I remember people were just hating at me because I dress differently and I wear iron shoes. I'm always in iron shoes. I just love iron shoes. I just think that women should wear iron shoes because it's just so sexy. And I know um, it's not good for you, but I mean, I love iron shoes. It's just give you that really, really feeling as if you're a woman, you know. I got so ate at and I know that a lot of you Capricorns women out there it's just a thing that we carry a sort of different energy vibration from the rest of uh, um, the zodiac sign and we always get the a it doesn't really matter if even we're nice to people and we we are really down to earth if you meet me the first time you might think that I'm stuck up but I'm not really stuck up but I'm just keeping myself you know because I've opened up myself too much and then I then you find out that um, these people are friending you because of something that you have because they see and they, you know that sort of a thing that it's friends they're friending you because um, you know they can be seen out with you and that sort of a thing and I'm thinking oh my god and I'm just not like that so this song was so beautiful because this song kind of set kind of set a, a, a ray for me and um i think this year was a beautiful year and i'm surely going to write a book about this year because it's so funny i mean there's so many things i sat on the phone with my girlfriend last night and it was just so funny because she's in canada and uh, and I'm in the States and I'm just so telling my girlfriend about these things that are just so funny that I came back and see all of these things and you know it was a very interesting year for myself and I'm sure that for a lot of you people it was you know really something and some of the time I was just you know really dying in silence to see that um, we as human beings you know it's not like we're elevating our sense and trying to you know push ourselves up and that sort of a thing and as I've always said I don't see myself as um, I don't consider myself to be um, better than anyone else I consider that we are all um, the same but um, some people don't do that and some people but you know see try and see whatever is happening try, try and see the divinity within people I just can't take dishonesty I just have a, a problem with people being dishonest to me and people lying to me and I I can't understand why are you gonna lie why are you gonna um, give a false um, thing there you know that sort of a thing is like for me it's like okay I really not interested and I'm sure most Capricorn people are like that especially when you're um, vibrating with a high energy vibration because most of the Capricorns are actually changing um, changing the planet at the time not knowing that but you are changing the energy vibration for the planet so ladies and gentlemen I want to say to you I am wishing you um, um, a wonderful new year because this is the beginning of the year 2017 for you guys because we're moving in 2018 but this is the year 2017 for you guys okay I'm gonna try next year that your videos are not so long I want to wish you a lot of loves um, I'm sending you hugs and kisses I'm hoping that your wishes and dreams will come true um, please listen to your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. The year readings will be up soon, so please listen to that and go back and listen to the general reading for the year because that is going to be good. I'm going to change up my ways of doing stuff as I always do every year. So I'm hoping that you will return next year. Please like, share these videos, thumbs up, and I want to say to each and every person that shout out to me. Um, you know sometimes I really if you see how much messages I will get in a week but I love you guys just leave your message help someone else understand that they're not the only one that is going through their process namaste wishing you a wonderful new year bye